Hey there guys, it's Anthony here at Cutting Edge Guitar and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing for you the new Acoustic Attack Stealth Picks. Let's get right into it. Okay guys, first things first, if you're enjoying my content, I'm going to ask you please do smash that like button, subscribe to the channel so you see more of my videos when I do them, and also, if you are keen to see more of this kind of thing, gated content, so the stuff that you're not seeing on YouTube, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, consider being a member at Cutting Edge Guitar where I'm going to be doing more content like this, but just extra stuff on the back end of the video purely for members only, and also you'll get access to all of my advanced guitar tuition products when you become a member, so check out the links below for all of that. Okay, let's get into this new pick from Acoustic Attack. So where this has come from, I was approached by Acoustic Attack just to see if I wanted to try some of these out. I've done a number of reviews on picks and stuff like that all over my channel, and uh, I'm sure that you guys are probably seeing them elsewhere as well. They're starting to make a bit of a name for themselves online. So, first things first, let's talk about the pick. What you've got with your Acoustic Attack Stealth Picks. So the reason I've gone for this one, this is kind of like the more shredder style pick that they do. It's kind of like their version of a Jazz 3 XL. If anything, actually, the kind of picks that I use most of the time at the moment are Jim Dunlop Flow picks. This is about the same size as a Jim Dunlop Flow XL. So, things that are good about it, pros and cons. I quite like a bigger pick, so the size of this is really, really nice. It sits in your hand lovely. Also, as well, if we have a look into the centre of the pick, it's got quite a nice bubbly raised area that works well for grip also as well that middle section has been sort of cut away or it's been turned into like a scoop so you've got an indentation for your thumb and finger which for some people they're always going to like that because it helps with grip other people perhaps so maybe someone like myself i'm not so into that because it feels like i've got a thinner pick than i've got so in terms of gauge these are about two mil thick um, but yeah, with that cutaway, it kind of makes it feel a little bit thinner than it is. Also looking at the shape, we've got a pointed end uh, here. We've got a pointed end, which you would expect where you're attacking your strings and uh, playing the notes, as so to speak. Then on the back end where the rounded end is, you've got a, a sort of like a little bit of a tip on there. And that's because ideally what I guess that they're saying is that when you're playing lead stuff, you'd use that tip. And then if you want to do some chordal strumming stuff on a sort of a cleaner tone, um, this sort of thing. That's where you would turn the pick round and use this end. So it's good for all the strumming. All of that sort of stuff. Um, for me, generally speaking, where I'm interested in checking out picks, though, is for the lead style. Um, so let's just, uh, I'm just going to have a bit of a play with this and then tell you what I think. <laughs> Okay, so observations, first things first with this. It feels nice in your hand, it's got kind of a nice, it, it sits well, it doesn't move around because of that grippy area, which is kind of cool. Um, I like the size, I, when I'm playing, when I'm, when I'm sort of doing, I don't know, scalar type runs, I do not want to feel my skin touching the strings, that's a, a bit of a thing for me, that's why I like a bigger pick. So some people that like this kind of playing style and they like these shreddery tile pick, uh, type of picks, um, a lot of the time the go-to is always the Jazz 3. For me, Jazz 3s are too small. I like bigger picks. So that's why I've gone for this one. They actually do do a version of this pick, which is a bit smaller. Um, so this is uh, this version that I've got here. 
This is more like their Jazz 3 type size, whereas the one that I'm actually playing here is like a Jazz 3 XL kind of idea. They're not similar to shape to uh, Jazz 3s or anything like that. But for me, um, yeah, bigger pick. So I like the surface area of this. That grip area is quite nice. Like I said, it's not moving around in my hands very much. <laughs> That just feels kind of nice. Um, I find that with that big scoop that you have, even though it's a 2 mil pick, it gives that little bit of flex. Now, to be fair, I don't like the flex. That's one of the things I like about a Jim Dunlop flow, is that it, that it glides off of the string nicely. But actually, if you're economy picking, I mean, I'll try some economy picking stuff. <laughs> actually kind of nice to have a little bit of flex when you're economy picking actually and uh, look, these these feel pretty good let's try some sweepy stuff as well why not so in actual fact with the sweepy stuff that's kind of nice. It works pretty well. How will it compare, though, to the usual Jim Dunlop flow that I tend to like? Well, I'm going to keep that as a members-only thing for Cutting Edge Guitar, so I'll talk to my members over there about that. But for now, just as my quick overview and review of this, uh, I think these are quite nice. If you're into Shredder-style picks, they are worth a try, so give them a go. I'll drop a, a link in the description to Acoustic Attack Picks. Uh, yeah, pretty cool actually. Something something different moving into the space. That's it for this video and uh, if you want to see a little bit more when we I compare this to my usual Jim Dunlop flow, well I'll do that for my cutting edge guitar members area. There's a link in the description to that as well. Okay guys, thanks ever so much for watching this video. You take care. I'll see you in the next one.